Hey, so let's get started on MP3. Um, so I've got my MP2 project. You know, this is another case where finish MP2 first. So, you know, until you have all the work done on MP2, as soon as you have those MP3 test suites, a few things are going to break. Um, I've gone ahead and added the MP3 test suites and I'm gonna show you how to stub things out so you can get started. There are two methods that we need to add on our related restaurants class. One of them will work on today. The other one will work on in tomorrow's lesson. Um, so, okay, the, the first one is called, and you can kind of infer this from the, from the test suites. I'm finding spot, okay, get related in order. Um, this takes a string and it returns a list of restaurants. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and return uh, an empty list here to, to get started. And then the second one is called get connected to, and this also takes a string, and in this case it returns a set of restaurants, and I'll just return an empty set. Um, and so as soon as I'm done with this, and I save it to get the uh, KTLIN errors to, to go away, I should be over here and these should clear. Excellent, okay. So let's talk a little bit about how to approach uh, get related in order. Um, the idea, so you know, you really need to understand what you're doing here. So go and read the description in the write-up. That's sort of ground truth here. Uh, but let's talk a little bit about what this method is supposed to accomplish, and we'll talk kind of a, through a solution sketch. Um, so you're supposed to, so you have this method already called get related that returns a map uh, given a particular restaurant ID. It returns a map of all the restaurants that are related to that restaurant based on how we parse the preferences in our constructor. What we need to do in get related in order is rather than returning a map from the restaurant ID to the to the wait, we're going to take all the restaurant IDs in that map and return a list of all those restaurants ordered by the strength and the name. Uh, so it's supposed to be the the ones with the uh, the the strongest connection first, and within each group of connection strengths ordered by name. Um, and so let me sort of sketch out how to approach this, right? So the first thing we want to do is validate the from string or validate the uh, restaurant ID that we're passed to make sure that it's correct. The next thing I'm, I need to do is uh, get related, uh, call get related, uh, because that'll give me my map from strings to integers. Now note that what I need to return here is a list of restaurants. So at some point I need to convert my uh, string keys to a list of restaurant and I would do that here now this is a place where it might be helpful to have another map on your related restaurants class because you know I have a restaurant ID how do I get a restaurant from it well a nice way to do that is to have a uh, I, I would call this restaurant map that's a mutable map uh, mutable map from string to restaurant that I would create, I, I would initialize it here, you know, some of us have been bit by that a few times, and then in my init block, I would populate this. So I'm not gonna show you my init block because there's solution coded there, but uh, that's what I would do. Um, and I can use that both to validate the restaurant ID because if the restaurant ID is valid, there should be a mapping in there, and then I can also use it to do this conversion because what I get back from get related is a map that has keys that are restaurant IDs, I need a list of restaurants. Okay, next thing to do is, uh, sort the list and this is where you get to use some of the new ideas that we were talking about uh, in today's lesson in terms of how to uh, sort a list in this case sorted by in, in, in several passes so i want it sorted uh, by at the end i want it sorted with the restaurants with the highest the strongest relationship first but within each group of restaurants with the same relationship i want relationship strength i want them sorted by name um, so, you know, uh, you, you know, this is a, kind of a, a fun place to have some fun and get a chance to sort of practice uh, using uh, built-in sorts. Now, if you find yourself implementing something like insertion sort, like, please stop. That is not the goal of today's exercise. I don't want you to implement your own sort. In fact, I would, you know, sort of be annoyed by this, right, in the sense that, you know, please use Kotlin's built-in sorting methods. What we're trying to do here is to give you a chance to practice using those and to approach sorting much more like you would on a real problem. As always, if you get stuck, when you get stuck, we all get stuck, you know where to find us. Uh, good luck.